Hi, I'm Grandpa Gary, and I just got here back at the church parking lot, and I have the Mamba 10 with me today. Can't wait to get this thing in the air. We got very little wind. It just kicked up a little bit, and it's coming from a different direction than what we thought, but I don't think it's going to be a problem with this Mamba. It can take off in any direction I want, as long as the wind is less than 20 miles an hour, and uh, that's that Aura 8 just is incredible in this thing. I can't say enough about it. I know some people don't have good results with it, but it's it's worked great for me. We're going to get this thing in the air. I appreciate everybody that's been a Patreon and supporting this channel. You guys are great. Let's get this thing in the air and see what happens. Today is day nine of 365 straight days of flying. And I, the sky got dark. It was shining bright and sunny at home and I was like oh no I thought for sure it was gonna be raining when I got here but we are good and the Mamba is ready to go I got the 3s 2200 in there and high rates should be ready to go except for I got throttle cut on somewhere if I can figure that out there it is So this thing is getting pretty rough. You can hear that prop and motor vibrating real bad. And uh, it's about time to retire this plane, I think. So this could be the last flight. I don't know if I'll get it back out or not. Just kind of depends. This thing is so much fun to fly do knife edges for days <laughs> so that's not something I would normally do with just any airplane but the Mamba can do it and uh you can see it is a little underpowered and you get it up into that hover and it just wants to fall. But it's fun to do for a couple seconds. There's the trees. I gotta miss them trees. Boy, she's upside down all of a sudden. Let's take it up and over the top. Miss the shed, of course. We don't want to hit the shed. Nice big roll. Go ahead and do the big loop. I used to do this thing where I went up like this and pushed it over like that. But that's when I started having trouble with it stalling and falling to the ground. So I don't do it so much anymore. But since it might be the last flight, I thought it'd be all right. Let's take it around and see if I can get it into a Harrier. That's another trick that I don't do that often, but should be able to do with this airplane. And that's where you kick the tail down low and get it up. Use that rudder to steer and ailerons to keep the wings level. It did pretty good, guys pretty happy with that of course we're on 3s that is a lot of work and i am sure it's hot now but these ovonics i've been pretty happy with and if you guys follow ovonic and ampow they're running a sale right now you buy three you get one free so if that's something you're interested in you should go check it out i don't have any kind of affiliation I've just used their batteries for a while and I really enjoy them myself. They're not smart batteries, but they do just great if you got the balance set up. A 
Oh, I pushed up on the nose and speed it up just a little bit. It's starting to fall. Roll out of that. I'll slow it down a little bit here. Keep it in a little tighter. You see the mamba snake on the bottom of the wing. Let's take it up. It's got to be about all this battery can take. I don't want to ruin it because I use it for other airplanes, but I'm not afraid of it. It's got a lot of life in it. Let's take it up at a 45 and roll it over. My timer is starting to do the countdown. There, it's telling me it's time. This could be the last time we see the Mamba 10 and it is super noisy. <laughs> and I just, with all the stuff that's broken here. Oh, you know what I didn't even think about was when I went to put the battery in, there's a strap that holds the battery in place and the battery tray is broke and the strap came out and I didn't bring it with me. So all that's holding my battery in today is a little piece of Velcro. And it's done a great job because it has not lost its balance. But that is the end of the battery. It is telling me right now. I've seen it was getting weak. But there you go. That was a perfect flight for my Mamba. I love this thing. But it is in bad shape. And I, I think it's time to retire. We'll put this one on the shelf or possibly sell it. If somebody just needing a Mamba 10 is wore out, I might sell it. But guys, I had a blast today. That's what the RC hobby is all about is getting out and just having a good time. And the Mamba 10 is that. It is a blast. And uh, Flex Innovations knocked it out of the park with the Mamba series. I've been super happy with these. Boy, it'd be awesome to get that 70 size, a big gasser, or even an even bigger one. I think they got a 120 cc size gas engine one. I don't know. They're just crazy. I don't have enough room for that, obviously. But, guys, I just had a great time today. And if you guys like watching videos like this, hopefully I'm going to have days like this for the, the rest of the 365 day challenge. And if you guys want to see that, make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell and set it for all. And give me that thumbs up. Leave some great comments. And as always, I'm Grandpa Gary and I just got here.